Hey, when will I be YouTube famous? I don't know, probably never. What I do know is that this is 4F Beauty and this is part of a multi-channel collab to say goodbye to Blush Tribe who sadly after many years are closing their doors. So a group of us mm. got together and decided to create a look using our favourite items from Blush Tribe. Long term viewers will not be surprised to see the Hasina 2 palette at this point because this is me in palette form. Uh, but I've also included one of their loose pigments in, in Sage from the Jungle Bundle that she did because, well, it's pretty and I wanted to use it. What other reason is there to use makeup? So, my lovelies, as I have said for some considerable time now, Grab a drink, grab a snack, put your feet up, and enjoy. Because here it comes. Hey, welcome back from the intro. Okay, you would have seen from the intro that this is a um, multi-channel collab. Celebrating and saying bye-bye to Blush Tribe. Now, anyone who's watched me for any length of time knows that my favourite palette is Hasina 2. This is me in a palette. These are shades I run to. Purple, blue, green. That's what I love. And in one palette. Until recently, this shade Re was unique to my collection. I have now got it in um, a different palette but for a long time this shade was unique to my whole collection um, so we decided that we were all going to get together and do a look with our favourite blush tribes bits and pieces and I'd recently bought the the jungle bundle which were four green toned loose pigments and this one is sage which is just beautiful and I thought I would use that today as well because I do like their loose pigments um, Salma who runs Blush Tribe has actually come out and said once Blush Tribe has sold everything she will be launching a new company um, no idea yet whether that's still going to be on the beauty line whether it's going to go down nails route instead of makeup route or hair or skincare we don't know yet um, but what she has said is that none of the blush tribe items will be um, ever re-released as part of the new company stock so you know i bought me a backup one of these even though i've not hit pan on any of them yet you know i bought me a backup of this because i need I need this in my life. Um, because it's a multi-channel collab, we've all been asked to keep our films around about the 20 minute mark, which where I'm a, um, a training channel and I want beginners to be able to keep up with me, my films are usually longer than that because I normally do real time blending. Today, obviously, because of um, the whole keeping it under 20 minutes, not going to be able to do that. So, um, I will still include the information that I always put in about um, the difference between hooded eyes and deep set eyes because. People do get them confused, understandably so, because they have very similar issues in terms of how 
I should own wares. But the workarounds for each type of eye are very different. <clears throat> so I am still going to include that. But rather than real-time blending today, I am probably going to speed it up. I may just only show you one eye um, rather than both eyes to help reduce the length of the film. So this will be a little bit different to films that you are used to watching from me. So the clip will be very up close and personal because when I zoom in I zoom right in so even if you watch me on a phone screen you can see what I'm talking about. When I am uh, speeding through footage for blending I will most likely put music over the top so um, <clears throat> I probably won't be talking much. So here's your clip and when you come back I'll be applying some of this to these. Now um, my eyes have this primer on it. This is the Crime Pebble primer in blank page cotton. I do have a discount code for this. It is not affiliated. I don't earn money from it. But if you use my code, you save, I think it's 15%, and I earn pebbles that I can offset against future purchases from them. The reason I love the Chrome Pebble Primer is because it's it goes on like a cream, but it has a powdery finish. So unlike when you use a concealer or like a MAC paint pot, for example, you have the trade-off between do I set it so I can blend easily or do I leave it tacky so that I get the full impact of colour. You don't have that trade-off with this. You can blend on it instantly and you don't lose any of the colour. Now she does six different shades of this at the moment. White is the lightest. The deepest two are a chocolate brown and a black. Then there are three different skin tone shades as well. So you should be able to find one that will work for you. Um, I apply this with a flat brush, just a very light layer and then I buff it over with a fluffy blending brush to take any excess off and to make sure I've got a nice even layer across the eye. Now I've got deep set eyes so I get the same issues that people with hooded lids get. I get transference of colour onto the upper lid. If I'm cutting my crease, I have to cut onto the upper lid, not just through the socket. And if I'm using glitter, even with glitter glue, I get a bare patch in the middle. Because people with hooded lids get the same symptoms as people with deep set eyes, I see a lot of people with deep set eyes thinking they have hooded lids when they don't. So they follow the guidelines for hooded lids and wonder why their eyes still don't look right. So, I'm going to explain very easily for you how to tell the difference and what the two workarounds are. With my brows relaxed and looking straight forward, you can see all of my mobile lid from inner to outer corner. You can't see a lot of it, but you can see it. So I haven't got hooded lids. It's only if this upper lid comes down and completely covers part or all of the mobile lid that you have a full or a half hooded lid or what's known as a mono or an Asian eye. I'm going to demonstrate on this eye deep set eyes because this is the eye that I'm blind in so I'll stay on screen and in focus. If I cover a visible mobile lid and close my eye you can see I've got as much, if not more, lid that tucks back away out of sight. And if I do the same on the top lid, the static lid, you can see I've got about the same amount of lid again that tucks back away out of sight when the eyes open. And it's those two bits of lid rubbing together that give me the same issues that hooded lids get. So. What are the workarounds? If you have hooded lids, 
get a brush something like this or a pencil brush sketch out on your static lid where you want your new crease to fall now obviously that's going to reduce the space between the crease and the brow so just use smaller blending brushes or if necessary take the colour right up to the brow instead of leaving a gap if you have deep set eyes like myself all we need to do when we're putting the colour through the crease which nine times out of ten will be the deepest colour that we're using just sit back relax your brows and make sure you brought it up high enough that you can see it when your eyes are open so two very different workarounds for two very different types of lids but that have very similar issues hey, I am back right I'm going to start off with a do color blending brush it's clean it's just stained um, and I'm going to do my usual what I call the Viennese waltz of blending where you do natural turns to the nose a flicker when you get there and reverse turns when you come back because I'm 46 years old I've lost 14 stone which is over 200 pounds the skin on my eyelids moves by doing the Viennese waltz blend rather than the windshield wiper blend you get less of an issue of the tiger striping or pin coding or bar coding where your skin folds over itself so this is probably the point now that I will just put a picture up on screen of the name of the colour that I'm using and pop music on to uh, give you something to listen to at beauty con i've been living out my beauty guru fantasy looking flawless with my beauty guru family it's so perfect in my time i saw the beauty guru eye so if you like this video then please subscribe got my champagne bottle also use my gold for the sprato If I shout you out, I'll think I'd break your social blade I'll be snapping out with Nikki in the ocean shade Jacqueline, we're on a jet, waiting for my face to set Classy, girl, let's collab, Lily lashes looking fab Redman, we're fucking stars, vlogging in our matching cars Jackie, this gloss is fruity, see you sisters, Agen Beauty I've been living out my beauty guru fantasy Looking flawless with my beauty guru family It's so perfect in my time I saw the beauty guru life So if you like this video then please subscribe It ain't nothing I can go on a support free If I shut you out I think I'd break your social blade Social blade, social blade Hey my lovelies, right I am back, so this is my look with Hasina 2 and Sage. Uh, just to run you through some of the other things I have on my face, uh, I'm trying the Wet n Wild Dewy foundation I'll let you know what I think of that once I've used it a few more times concealer is the L'Oreal infallible um, butter bronzer 
I actually used the Peach Perfect powder today and I use the Sweetie Pie bronzer as a glowy blush because it's too warm of a bronzer for my cool to neutral skin tone and I use the MAC Luna Lustre for my face highlight mascara is the little mini it superhero mascara and the lippy is the new Wayne Goss in what shade did I buy Amaryllis which I think is a really nice peachy nude and goes complements well to the green look with a little pop of purple in the middle so my lovelies this is my tribute to blush tribe uh, looking forward to seeing what the future brings for Salma and her new business uh, I believe there are still a few items available on her website and as far as I know my discount code still works until the last item is sold which is of course BOMBER in all caps. Um, I don't earn from that, I never have earned from that, I've never had PR from them um, and I, I don't use PR codes or offer you PR codes unless I'm 100% happy with the company. So I really hope you enjoyed this. Uh, long term viewers please double check you are still subscribed. YouTube are still unsubscribing you if you are new to my channel however hi hello welcome hope you enjoyed it here um, as I said at the start this is a little bit different to my usual style of video I normally um, when I'm doing the eye makeup I normally do real-time blending and don't cut anything out so if you'd like to watch a few more of those just basically pick a playlist and press play but make sure you have a drink a snack and your feet up because well I've been told they're quite addictive and relaxing and can help you sleep which I think is a good thing right now you've watched me all the other wonderful creators that are involved in this collab are listed in the description box and if we've got a playlist set up that will be linked as well which obviously would be the easiest way to catch all of the films so my lovelies uh, if you want to subscribe that would be awesome if you didn't want to subscribe that's fine too it's entirely up to you you can't like everybody on the platform uh, but please do double check Blush Tribe and just see if there's anything left that you fancy grabbing your hands on before they disappear. Right, as ever, all that remains for me to say is you all stay fabulous and I will see you next time. Bye for now and enjoy watching all the other films in this collab.